I want to thank uh, somebody who put so much work into this event, Terry Bean. Give Terry a big round of applause. Uh, somebody who put so much work into this event, Terry Bean. Give Terry a big round of applause. Two years ago, President Obama was here to, uh, to tout this building and this business as a symbol of the success of his stimulus. Well, you can see uh, that it's a symbol of something very different today. It's a symbol not of success, but of failure. It's also a symbol of a serious conflict of interest. An independent inspector general looked at this investment and concluded that the administration had steered money to friends and family, to campaign contributors. This half a billion dollar taxpayer investment represents a serious conflict of interest on the part of the president and his team. Free enterprise to the president means taking money from the taxpayers and giving it freely to his friends. You realize that if the business had done spectacularly well, the shareholders, his friends, would have done very, very well. But the taxpayers would have just gotten their money back. On the other hand, of course, if the business failed, as it did, it's the taxpayers that get stuck with losing a half a billion dollars. I stand before you today, not as a man running for office, but as a father and grandfather, a husband, an American. This is a time for each of us to look into our hearts and remember how much we love one another and how much we care for our great country. There's so much love and goodness in the heart of America. We pray that the wounded will recover and that those who are grieving will know the nearness of God. But there is something we can do. We can offer comfort to someone near us who is suffering or heavy laden. And we can mourn with those who mourn in Colorado. Our prayer is that the comforter might bring the peace to their souls that surpasses our understanding. The Apostle Paul explained, Blessed be God, who comforteth us in all our tribulations, that we may be able to comfort them which are in any trouble. Now and in the hard days to come, may every one of them feel the sympathy of our whole nation and the comfort of a living God. Each one of us will hold our kids a little closer, linger a bit longer with a colleague or a neighbor, reach out to a family member or friend. We'll all spend a little less time thinking about the worries of our day and more time wondering about how to help those who are in need of compassion most. We will show our fellow citizens the good heart of the America we know and love. God bless you for being here and sharing together this moment of sorrow. And God bless the United States of America. Thank you.